Hi everyone! Welcome back to our channel. We have another exciting episode for you, as always. Today's episode will be about going to Lake Louise successfully in an RV, and I stress successfully. The reason is is that it is a high tourist site. The parking lot gets full really fast. So watch this episode and find out how you can visit Lake Louise successfully. Okay, let's get right into it. The first thing you need to keep in mind is to arrive early, preferably before 8 a.m., especially during the peak summer months, July and August. That's pretty early, right? I know. But with an RV, you're taking two spots, and if you don't arrive early, you won't get parking. But what I suggest is, well, this is the second point: camp at Lake Louise Campground or Tunnel Mountain in Banff. That way, you can wake up between 6 a.m. and 7 a.m., and then you will arrive there at 8 o'clock and get ready in your RV. That's the advantage of an RV. You can get ready anywhere. You can have breakfast anywhere. So do that, and then you'll have a parking spot, and you'll be well on your way to enjoy the day at Lake Louise. How do you enjoy your day in Lake Louise? Well, there's a ton of things to do. So this brings me to my third point. My third point is to prepare for a full day of fun at Lake Louise. You get to go paddleboarding, as you can see here. And what we did was we bought our own paddleboards, so we saved a lot of money. Since canoe rentals will run you about 135 Canadian dollars with tax included for half an hour of canoe riding. Now I know this could be difficult for the travelers that are overseas, but inquire, inquire from. The person that you're renting the RV from, the company that you're renting the RV from, if they will rent you a paddleboard, I'll bet you it'll be a lot cheaper, and you can use it amongst all your family members instead of having to only go for a half an hour and rush. Now on to the next point. There are a lot of hiking trails within Lake Louise. You should get information about. Which trail fits your family before going? Because they can range between one hour to four hour, and the difficulty level from low to high. However, they're all very beautiful. It's very worth it to go on these hiking trails. We'll have more information on these trails in upcoming episodes. And this is the Lake Louise parking lot. A new thing. With this tourist site, is that you have to pay for parking. It's eleven dollars and seventy cents per vehicle per day, from seven a.m. to seven p.m. So that's that's very new. Um, not really a nice thing because it's been free for so long. But Alberta needs to find ways to recover its economy. So there you have it, eleven seventy. Paid parking for Lake Louise. You walk through this little pathway here. I just thought this was an owl. Oh, look at that! The Fairmont Hotel up there. Okay, as you enjoy more of this video, I am gonna take this opportunity to tell you about my experience when we were not able to find parking at Lake Louise. I bought my grandma to see Lake Louise. We went all the way from Calgary to Lake Louise. It took us about two and a half hours. And when we got there, we actually took two cars because there was too much people. But when we got there, The car was able to get up and find parking, 
and we were not able to find parking. They literally let us go all the way up to the parking lot and the end, tell us to turn around and head down back to the bottom of the mountain. Yes, so I didn't take any of my advice that I just gave you here. Literally, my grandma wanted to go for a one-day trip, so we weren't able to head to Lake Louise as early as 8 a.m., as I mentioned. We were there actually around 12.30, and yeah, we couldn't find parking. Like, there was no way we were able to find parking in busy Lake Louise with an RV. Like, it was jam-packed. Okay. Yeah, so anyways, after that, when we were down in the mountain, we were able to find parking at the visitor center. There was a certain spot where the parking was pretty big, enough to fit an RV, and there was no two-hour limit. So we were able to park there, and then we had to take the Rome bus, it's, it's a bus, because the shuttle bus that you can get on and go up to the mountain for free was fully booked, so we had to take the bus. We are on the Rome bus going up to Lake Louise. We parked our RV at the visitor center parking lot, and we waited for the bus. It took like about 10 minutes, and we're on our way to the lake. Uh, oh yeah, I wanted to mention too that it was $2 per adult and $1 for a teen and 6 and under is free. The bus was fairly nice. It was very clean. There was a lot of space. There was actually room for three bikes to be put in the front of the bus. So, you know, that was a good experience. But we got up and literally it was late. It was late. So I told you we got there around 12.30 a.m. But the time we got parking and all sort, everything sorted out and took the bus, it ended up being probably like 3 o'clock. And then after, at 3 o'clock, I was like, well, I need my bag in the car that my parents drove. So I go and try to get my bag in the car and my dad goes oh I parked in the lower parking lot where there is no RVs I'm like okay so it's a lower parking lot that has no RVs there's only one that is a lower parking lot but you know how immigrant parents are like they really don't know how to explain things or understand correctly what you're saying if you're saying lower versus the upper parking lot and I go to the lower parking lot I can't find the car I'm there for about an hour tr walking around trying to find a car I call my dad and I tell him okay you have to go to the parking lot because I have no idea where it is Okay, first of all, he can't even find me in the parking lot because he's looking in the upper parking lot. And he's like, I can't find you. I can't find you. And I'm like, Dad, you told me it was the lower parking lot. So I'm in the lower parking lot. Okay, so then it clued into me that, okay, maybe he's just explaining it totally wrong and he's in the upper parking lot. So I meet him in the upper parking lot and I get my bag. And by the time I get my bag, it's four o'clock. About that time, I was just like, okay, I didn't have lunch yet. I'm super tired. I didn't get to enjoy Lake Louise at all. So I ate and then we were going to go hiking. But I was like, oh my God, if I go hike now. And at, at this time, after I ate and took pictures and all that, it's like about five o'clock. I'm like, oh my God, at five o'clock, we're going to go up the mountains to the tea house. That's going to take me about two hours and if I try to rush it I am totally gonna gas out so you know what I I just said okay I don't think I can do this I'm not gonna hike up the mound if you want to hike up the mound you can but I'm not doing it so we ended up just not doing it at all and we had hope so if you don't want to experience like that <laughs> please arrive early go hiking up there but my mommy said <laughs> mommy? can't do it <laughs> <laughs> 
so that's it. That's it for my story of my failed attempt with my family to go to Lake Louise. I hope I didn't bore you too much. But anyways, remember to come back because we're going to have some more episodes of the different hiking trails in the Alberta mountains, in the Rocky Mountains, especially in the Lake Louise area. Uh, winter is coming up, so we're going to also create some content where we're ice fishing because that's a big thing for us in Alberta in the winter months. And we are also going to have some restaurant reviews that we did around the Calgary area because if you're visiting, you of course want to eat good food, right? So we're going to have some episodes on some good meals and good restaurants that we had in the Calgary area. But um, yeah, so I hope to see you soon and remember to like and subscribe and press the notification button so you'll know when we have a new episode. But I hope to see you soon. Bye.